So today we're going to be taking a look at a certain weapon that I've been trying to get my hands on for a while now. We're going to be comparing it to some trusty reliable weapons and seeing if it's really that good. But before we do get into the video, if you do go on to enjoy this video and you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. We're on the road to 10k subs, we've actually just hit 8k subs yesterday, so thanks everyone for that. But if you're not subscribed, then you should. Also, you should also leave a like on the video, there's no reason not to, and it helps me out. Finally, the Discord is linked in the description, you should also join that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video, I hope you all do enjoy. So if you haven't already guessed, this is the bad boy that we're going to be testing out. So you might be thinking, why have you been waiting to get your hands on that? It's only like 60 mil, surely you've got that. And uh, I do, I've only just actually got around to doing Enderman Slayers, and I've only just got level 3, which is a little bit embarrassing, but we'll, you know, we'll look past that. So we're going to test it out both outside of dungeons and inside of dungeons, and um, see what it's like compared to the trusty Livid Dagger. First of all, we'll take out the short boat itself. So, as you can see, it's got Solita 5, Overlord 5, 3 Combobulated, 5 starred, Spiritual, Fuming Potato, um, it's got Power 6, but that's they're pretty much the main enchantments and upgrades on there. It costs around 63 million coins, and um, yeah, we're going to test it out today and see what it's like. And we'll be testing it out against pretty much the control weapon, which is this Livid Dagger. I guess the, the good thing about this Livid Dagger at the moment is it's only 15 mil, and um, it's literally halved in price and as you might have seen in one of our previous videos um, it's actually increased in damage after the one for all change as well which is sort of questionable for both damage tests outside of dungeons we'll just be using this setup which is just the full necron set depending on which floor we try it out in dungeons with we will also use a golden head so the idea is that we're going to use the tiger pet with the livid dagger and the skeleton pet with the Juju Shortbow, uh, we might switch up a bit and see maybe even if the Skeleton Pet is better for a Berserk, which it probably won't, or the Tiger Pet is better for an Archer, but we'll find out. So first of all, we've got the Tiger Pet on and we're going to test out the Livid Dagger. Now, at the moment, I do have my Talismans optimised towards a Berserk setup. Um, nevertheless, it is optimised towards damage more than anything. Um, I know for the Juju Shortbow, ideally you need at least 82 uh, bonus attack speed, which I don't currently have, but that really shouldn't affect this too much, so I will factor that in. So I've gone to do a damage test and there's actually somebody grinding zombies Okay, over towards the Dante Memorial we go, and um, okay, this is quite an unsuspected zombie, let's see what sort of damage we're doing. 166k, um, okay, that's a back hit, 348k, let's just try it again, and again, okay, 160, 100, between 160 and 170k. Now we've got our skeleton pet on, and let's do a damage test with our Juju Shortbow, it would help if that didn't happen. So 169k, 170k. Remember, this has got solely a 5, so if we are killing high level enemies, then we will do more damage, which we will test. Nevertheless, before we've actually gone to try this out against higher level enemies, the Juju Shop was already doing slightly more damage. Like, hardly any more damage, but it's doing like 2 or 3k more damage. So we'll go down to the Crypt Ghouls, we've got our Tiger Pet on, and we've still got the same Livid Dagger as before, but because this is one for all, it's going to be doing the same amount of damage, which is about 167k, somewhere around that margin. And then if we switch to the Juju Shortbow, if we can actually hit something properly, 163k, in theory this should now do more damage, yeah, 200k, so you can see how much more damage that does. If we now go to the end and start killing some Zealots, you can see that we're actually almost going to do over 300k. The Livid Dagger will do the same damage. I'm not going to test it again because it's one for all. It will do the same damage. It's not got Soul Eater. So as you can see, it's got potential to do way more damage. The Juju, it sort of does win at this point. So now we're going to compare these two weapons within dungeons. Now for the Juju Shortbow, I know I don't have 82% attack speed or above. Um, but we're just going to be looking at basically the one hit damage and then we can sort of see what will be best from that. Now we're going to test out the damage of this Juju Shortbow within dungeons. So if we can get a mob, what's that? 6.4 mil? 7 mil? I mean, you really can't complain with that. I don't even need to test. I mean, 3.4. I guess it varies quite a bit, obviously, with the Soul Eater. Um, but I know my Livid Dagger is not going to deal 7 mil at this point, to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. So now we've switched to Berserk, we've got our Livid Dagger, and we've got our Tiger Pet. Let's see what sort of damage we're doing there. I think that was a back hit, but I got 6.5 mil. 3, yeah, it's about 3 mil. It's about 3 to 4 mil on a normal hit, realistically. Now, something else that you do have to consider is that my Archer level is only 21, and my Berserk level is only 26, because usually I play Berserk. So you've got to think that I would be doing more damage as an Archer, or in that case, I would be doing less damage as a Berserk. So 
I think the Juju really does do more damage. So overall, I'd probably say, in my opinion, the Juju is better. Obviously, the different classes, so it depends on your playstyle. The Livid Dagger that I have now currently costs around 17 million coins. Obviously, the armor is the same for both. Um, the Skeleton Pet costs around 19 mil, and I think that Tiger Pet now costs around 26, 27 mil. The Juju itself that I was using costs 63 mil, so obviously there's quite a big difference in price in terms of the actual weapons. So for you to make your decision, you've got to weigh up whether the increase in damage or that increase in damage is worth that increase in price. Like, if you've got a lot of coins, then you probably wouldn't even bother buying either of these. What would be interesting is to see how much of a difference there really is between a Juju and a Terminator, but unfortunately I just don't have the time or the patience to get that Enderman Slayer requirement. Anyway, this is going to be just about the end of the video, I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.